Welcome to the Unility Labels tutorial. This is the second step to help getting you set up with your Unility organization. So to get to labels, I simply click on the settings icon and choose labels. Now that I'm in the page, the labels come with eight predefined that you can either edit or remove if they're not useful for your organization. To edit a label, click the edit button, change the text, just make this a test label, and if I want, I can choose the color as well. So I'll go ahead and change it to, say, orange. Click Save. And now that label will appear whenever I search for it. So labels are a very important feature to the system, as you can customize them. You can add them to all different types of jobs. And most importantly, you can search for them in reports, which gives you uh, some very good, robust information about what's happening with uh, the history and uh, live um, interaction of your company. So as you can see here, I also have uh, work labels, user labels, and place labels. So what we recommend is that you create work labels the same color, user labels the same color, and place labels the same color. Some important things to note are that place labels will always stay with the place. A user label will always stay with the user. And work labels are more of the action of the work. So it can change from time to time. So if you go back to perform uh, the same task at uh, the same location, uh, maybe it's repair now instead of replacement. So work labels are more of the action and can change at any time. To create a new label, I simply hit the plus button, enter the name, and a good idea for some labels are to create priority labels and maybe color that red so that they stand out. So again, now I've got that label and when I go into the live page to create work, I can create a test job here. So we'll say go to Toronto, add that work. Now when I click on the tile itself, I can choose labels. So I can assign work labels, we'll call it a priority. Place labels, we'll say that this plate is always a job. And now you can see that those labels appear on the work ticket and they'll also appear in work history, which we'll show you in another tutorial. 